This is Fish here, and I'm going to change some drum heads. If you ask a hundred drummers how to do this, you'll get a hundred different answers. So let's just start doing it. Yes, let's just start loosening up this drum right here. Okay, and I like the two key method. I don't use it often, but this is a pretty much changing all the heads on all my drums here so I'm doing the two key method there are other methods like the one key method or even the uh, what's that other method yeah they got all these contraptions now where you can like do all of them at once yep. super exciting to do this this drum head right here you can see it. This is a. Uh, this is the Mapex uh, stock head that came with the drum set, and they sound good. You know, they're, they're serviceable. Um, but I just wanted something that was a little notch up, just something that was, you know, kind of the next step. They don't sound bad. You can definitely use them. All right. This right here is the awesome hydraulic head and it's red it's really sweet it's from evans it's awesome we're, we're gonna put this thing on all right we're gonna we're gonna do it so all right <laughs> here we go you know again uh you ask 100 drummers how to do this you'll get 100 different answers so this is how i do it and uh we're just gonna throw this guy on oh it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be so cool Okay, and then, oh, it looks so sweet. Oh my God, it's so great. Okay, all right, so what I like to do is I just get them in the hole, get them in the holes, you know. Um, the first thing I do is I finger tighten them, which means just use those, uh, there you go. Just go all the way around and Get them in there. Okay, all right, so now I pretty much got them snug here. My fingers can't really tighten them quite anymore. All right, and then, you know, initially I was using two of these drum keys, two of them, to take off the head, but when I put the head, when I, when I really want to get tuning them, I, I like to just use one. And so here we go. So I'll start here and you just, you kind of do crisscross pattern. You don't uh, generally want to go all the way around. Just doing, 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 doing. So I kind of I crisscross it. Um, so just a little and then a little and then a little, a little bit, just a little, right? And, and you just keep going a little bit at a time. And I just randomize, you know, I randomize the... Uh, pattern here little crisscross action you know and and I, I go a lot by feel so you know this one maybe feels a little extra loose so I'll tighten it a little more this one feels a little snugger so I won't hit it as hard and that's that's kind of how I do it I'm just you know all right in that case I went whatever you just use your ear use your feel and a lot of what makes drums sound good is the person playing them too so you know, not to discredit or discount a really solidly tuned drum, but oftentimes you can have a drum that's tuned really awesomely, but if a drummer gets on there who doesn't know what he's doing, it, it, it's not going to sound good. So use your ear. Just trust yourself. Do what you like. There's a million things out there. Just do what you like. All right, so... All right, so bring that up a little. Like I said, it's just a feel thing. I'm trying. I'm listening for getting uh, some sort of consistency around the drum. So, like, if I take if I take a stick and tap around the edge. All right, so I'll bring this up. Pretty snug. Bring this up. 
right, bring that up. Bring that up and this. Just keep bringing it up. Again, I'm just I'm just doing what I feel. I'm not following any guidelines or anything like that. But let's see where we are. Let's see let's see where we are with this. Probably use a little more work. you play the more you actually play on the head it'll start to seat better too for me this is a good starting point I'm not I'm gonna just play I'm gonna play on them so I've got all these other heads that I gotta change here Whoa, check it out yeah so I gotta I gotta change those heads hey so I've never done this before but I had these panels lying around here and uh, what I'm gonna do is experiment and line the inside of this kick drum with these panels. Uh, it should make for a really focused sound. And I'm gonna do it with these thingamaboppers. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. So we'll try it out and we'll see what we get. Cause you know, it's all about experimenting. And all right, we're doing pretty good. We're almost there. Pretty much got these drums. Uh, all redded up here. We got the red heads on there. The red heads. <laughs> nice. And, uh, yeah, so we're just getting this kick, and then we should be, uh, good to go. So, that's gonna be pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, we're getting close. On to the snare. Uh, this is, uh, this is always an interesting time. It's always, uh, every, every time I seem to, uh, do this with the snare and change change the heads it's uh, an adventure especially the bottom uh the bottom head here because uh you got to take the snares off and that's the whole thing so again you ask a hundred different people a uh, hundred different drummers how to do this you get a hundred different answers i just just start take take the snares off so you loosen loosen these guys and uh oh it's so nerve-wracking <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it. And... Getting there. Finding that balance, getting like just the right tension on the snares. You just gotta, you gotta fuddle with it for a bit. So, uh, all right, there we go. The snares are loose. All right, taking them out. Okay. So now, we can just take this head off here. All right, we'll do our little two key, two key routine. Whoa! And loosen up, oh, yeah, I made this one pretty tight. All right, so the thing to remember here is that, <laughs> oh God, before you start tightening the lugs, make sure that See, there's, there's a little slit. So you need to make sure that that slit is there and it lines up with this because <laughs> in the past, uh, there, there's, been, there's been one or two times where I just was like, I threw, I threw it back on and I was like, all right, I'm gonna start tightening up the lugs and everything and <sighs> I had to redo it because the slit didn't, did not line up with this piece here, so. Make sure that you do that. Make sure that it's lined up. And then you can start tightening, kind of threading the snare around. Okay, let's put the snares back on the drum here. Oh, so we slip it, right? We're slipping it in through the, through the little slots here, right? You just gotta mess around with it. A little trial and error here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip it in. Right here, a little slip. Slip it in, okay, okay. All right, let's slip it. Uh, it seems like it was about there. 
I'm not going to tighten it all the way, um, but I'm just going to get it like a little snug. A little snug. Oh, that's probably pretty good. And then we'll uh, we'll get it in, in the other side too, right? We'll slide it in. Slide it in. Come on. Slide it in. There we go. Alright. Uh, it looks like it was roughly around there. Oh, that might be too much. Um... Probably should have started with this side first. All right, let's do that. Let's see where that gets us. If we tighten this side, and then maybe this is the side that we play around with. Because this is the side that is on like the clutch that gets pulled up on the little switch. The switch thing. All right, I think maybe we got it this time. As you just do it, just do it, and you'll start to feel like how this whole, how the whole ecosystem works. Yeah, I don't think I got that right. <laughs> oh no! This is still a bit of a mystery to me, uh, but I, I end up figuring it out and it works fine. But yeah, see, right now we don't have it because if I hit the drum. Ugh, terrible. Just terrible. I'm gonna mess around with this thing and until I figure it out. I know it's something here with, with usually with this side. Just have to make adjustments on it. It's just not not pulling it tight enough, so. Alright. So we're gonna test out these drums now. Let's see what we got.
started editing the video and I realized that I did not really have a wrap up or a conclusion. So here's my conclusion for what you just saw and what I just was doing. So we changed the heads of the drums. We realized that, you know, there are multiple ways to do it and you just have to do it. Just get in there and mess around with it. Use your ear, use your, use the feel of the drum, get in touch with the drum. You don't have to get locked into one way of tuning the drum. Every time you tune the drum, it's going to be a little different. It'll be an adventure, be a new experience. And each drum has a different sort of feel to it. Different size drums are going to feel different to tune. So you just got to do it. Just do it. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of people telling you, do it this way, do it that way, do it this way. And what I'm telling you is do it your way. Tune the drums also based on how you play the drums. Those two, I believe, go hand in hand. Uh, so if you have a lot of finesse on the kit, if you are able to pull a lot of like different sounds out of the drums, you might tune them in a specific way or in a certain way. A lot of it is trial and error too. Try this, try that. So I would encourage you not to get too hooked into one way of doing it. Just like every, t every time you tune a drum, it's going to be a bit of a different experience. You could be playing the drums and they could be tuned awesomely. But if you're not a good player, it's not going to matter how great they're tuned. So really make sure you can play, get really good at playing. And then once you've got that down, you can start to like really maybe tweak a little more with the tuning. But you got to be able to play. That's so important. I've played on some drum kits that were not tuned that great and I just didn't have time to tune them because like I had to start the show and there's like, you know, four bands on the bill. This was back in my early 20s. You just get up there and like, it's kind of what you got and you try to do a little quick tune, but, but ultimately you just got to play. And you know what? Um, and that, that's where moon gels can come in handy sometimes. But in the end, ultimately, like you just, you just start playing. And if you're a good player... You will, you will make the drums sound good. You will will it out of the drums. You can make them sound good. So I would say don't get too obsessed over this tuning of the drums thing. That's a, another takeaway from this. Be a good player. And then the tuning, you know, you practice that as well. That'll sort of, that'll start to happen too. Start with playing. Be a good drummer. All right. I've been quietly sitting back and observing all of the drumming stuff that's out there on YouTube and boy is there a lot of it and there's a lot of good stuff out there but there's also a lot of stuff out there that is kind of misleading and is not really uh, accurate <laughs> to so so we got to make sure that we get the good stuff out there make sure that the good stuff is circulating uh, if you're a beginning drummer this is a good place to be uh, because I, I really want to give you the fundamentals. And I also want to show you that there is not one way to do things. There are multiple ways to do things. So keep that in mind. Stay tuned. You know, Maybe I'll do another one of these at some point. I've got my drum covers up here. I've got a couple of those happening just to kind of showcase my skills. And I'm going to be having some original stuff coming out also. That's going to be really sweet. Uh, teaming up with some local Ithaca musicians. And we are going to bring the fire, bring the heat. We are going to bring some cool stuff as well. All kinds of different vibes. So stick around. Please subscribe to my channel. It really makes a difference. And you are going to get some real stuff, some, some down-to-earth stuff. I want, I want to share what I got. Uh, I want to show you that it's dr being a great drummer is not something that's unobtainable. Um, if you, again, if you, if you know the fundamentals, like really anything, like basketball, any sports, the, the best sports athletes and i should say the most skilled athletes the most skilled athletes are the ones that know the fundamentals and do them well keep that in mind <laughs>